Welcome into some bonus content here on the CHGO Bears podcast. Our guy, Ray Scarpelli, was so good with his fantasy advice this season. We're going to pick some playoff games with him this week. Of course, I'm Adam Hogue. That's Ray. And uh, if you've missed it, make sure you go check out some of his fantasy advice. And, of course, the fantasy awards that we handed out on uh, another video in our fantasy fuel up presented by Ray Auto Group. But, Ray, some good games this weekend on tap. We're going to start on Saturday. It's a 3.30 kickoff time here in the Chicago area on ABC. And the Texans and C.J. Stroud going to Baltimore. Ravens, of course, had the bye last week. They are nine-and-a-half point favorite. Who do you like in this game? I mean, here, I really – I mean, it's such a good story with the Texans, right – I mean, part of me almost wants to pick them just to see just a rookie quarterback, you know, continue to advance their career, right, and kind of create this this legend, right, this – because C.J. Stroud's got that going on right now, no question. But I'm going to go with the Ravens. I just think that Lamar is going to ultimately win the MVP. I think they're here. They're playing in Baltimore. I've been to that stadium. That fan base gets nuts. That's an advantage in itself at M&T. So I'm going to go with the Ravens over the Texans to win. Yeah, I agree with you. I definitely like the Ravens to win straight up. But even with that nine and a half point spread, yeah. big spread, I, I like the Ravens to cover it. I think that they've just been a buzz. Sometimes, sometimes we overreact a little bit to some of these wild card matchups and the Texans looked awesome last week, but that's probably the best they've been all season. And I can't imagine that they're going to be able to replicate that against the Ravens this week. So I am going to take the Ravens despite that nine and a half. Well, speaking of nine and a half Saturday night's game is also nine and a half. The Packers, another team that looked incredible last week going down the road, facing the number one seed, the 49ers who had a buy last week and like the Ravens, the 49ers are nine and a half point favorites. Who are you picking here? Here, I mean, as a Bears fan, I mean, I'm going to go with just the 49ers almost just based on that. But <laughs> here, I mean, let's just be realistic, though. I don't care who it's been at quarterback. Over the last few years, the 49ers just have Green Bay's number. Uh, so I, I just don't see them coming out and beating the 49ers, uh, different quarterbacks, right? We've got, you know, per Purdy instead of Garoppolo, we've got love instead of Rogers, but either way, I just, I like the 49ers. I like the 49ers to cover again, another really good story with Jordan love CJ Stroud, right? These young ascending quarterbacks that were able to get their first playoff wins. But I ultimately, I think the experience of the 49ers will ultimately whittle down green Bay. And I think they get a win. Yeah. The 49ers are to the Packers. What the Packers have been to the Cowboys. Uh, yeah. They have their number and it looked awesome last week. I think there's going to be a correction this week. The 49ers have been too good. It wouldn't completely shock me if the Packers end up covering and keep this thing close, I'm not sure, you know, I would play this in real life, but having to make this pick, I'm not quite as confident as I am on that Ravens game. But I, would have I, I do think the 49ers ultimately pull away late. Maybe this is a fourth quarter cover. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if it's literally a 10 point game, they win by 10. So I think that that would make sense. This is a George Kittle touchdown to win. It just feels like that type of a game, just like a tight end advantage, uh, really close. I that's that's how I see a game like this playing out. It, it's going to come down to one play. See, he's handing out prop bets here too. Or if you're playing, you know, daily fantasy, you can get on George Kittle there. Ray's handing it out for you. Okay, uh, we moved to Sunday, two o'clock kickoff on NBC. Here, the Lions. Uh, after, you know, their emotional win last week at home, their first playoff win in forever. They get another home game. They get the Bucks. Seemingly should feel pretty confident about this, but Baker Mayfield playing pretty good football. It's a six and a half point spread Lions favored. Ray, what do you think here? I like the Lions to win and to cover. Um, I think... You want, we've been kind of talking about some awesome stories, right, with all these different teams that we've been talking about so far. But the team of, of destiny, at least to me, to 
make it to the NFC Championship game, I think, is the Lions. I just think between their coaching, I think that was a huge um, emotional and symbolic win that they just had. And I just think that momentum is almost impossible to derail. So I love the Lions against, uh, of all the games we picked, that is the one I'm most confident. See, I'm a little worried about a letdown factor after all that last week. Um, now, I do think the building's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be a good home field advantage. And, of course, the Bucks were at home when they beat the Eagles um, the other day. But um, I look back at that Rams win that the Lions mm-hmm. had last week, and that really came down to the red zone. And the good. Rams gave up opportunity after opportunity to score touchdowns down there. And after all that, the Lions only won by one point. So I think this game ends up being closer than most think. I do think the Lions pull it out, but it, I would not be surprised if this ends up being within a field goal. Again, down to the wire. I think it's going to be a good game, especially with how Baker Mayfield has been playing. Um, there's enough weapons on that offense to keep up with the Lions. So I think the Bucks will cover this number. However, I am going to pick the Lions to win outright. All right, then the uh, finale, which should be a great game. Sunday evening, 5.30 kickoff. The Chiefs meet the Bills once again in the playoffs, this time in Buffalo, and the Bills a a two-and-a-half-point favorite over the Chiefs, who started looking like the Chiefs again last week. Uh, But the Bills, after sort of a tough start and having to change their OC in the middle of the season, they have been rolling. Ray, so who do you like in this game? I think I think it's Josh Allen's time. I, I think the Bills beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs are not the Chiefs that we know. Uh, they have an amazing defense that's kind of carried them to this point. But I really think that their offense is going to be challenged by this Bills defense. Um, I, I do. I mean, these have typically been high-scoring affairs when these teams have met up, but I, I sense this being actually a lo- a lower-scoring game than in years past. Uh, the Bills, I think they're going to chew the clock more. I think they're going to run the ball more, and I think they're just going to ultimately wear down the Chiefs. That's how I see this game going. I like the Bills to win. Of all the games we're talking about, this one is the closest to call, but I like the Bills to win and to cover. Yeah, I I think last week was maybe a little bit of fool's gold for the Chiefs in Mm -hmm. that they had the perfect matchup in the perfect environment where it was so cold against a Dolphins team that was so hurt, injuries piling up. They lost that game to the Bills. They didn't want to be there in that freezing cold weather. I don't think that necessarily means everything with the Chiefs is fixed and they're suddenly a, you know, a Super Bowl, runaway Super Bowl favorite again. The Bills have been playing better football over the last few months. I think that matters more. I do think this is a really good game. Would not shock me if we see this thing go to overtime again. But ultimately, I think it's probably a field goal victory for the Bills. So right above that number, I got the Bills covering. Completely agree. All right, Ray. Um, Well, this has been good. Secretly, I'm rooting for the Bills and the Lions and the 49ers because I have preseason tickets on those teams to, you know, win their respective conference. That's not going to get figured out this weekend, but those things are still in play. So uh, maybe we can still get there. Uh, We'll do this again next week. We'll see how the football goes this weekend. Really looking forward to it. And, of course, Ray, before we get out of here, uh, give us all an idea of what's happening over there at Ray Auto Group. Well, hey, guys, um, I love talking cars. I love talking football. Uh, Those are the two things I love the most. Uh, So um, I know I've talked about a lot of different teams today. I'd love for you to come out and see our team over here in Fox Lake at our Chevrolet store and our Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store. where We've got our Fresh Start Auto program going on. We just signed up with a bunch of new banks to help get you some auto financing. You might be in a challenging credit situation. We're here to help you. Our team is here to help you. And I'd love to be your guy. So come see us out here in Fox Lake. And if you stop in there, mention CHGO, you can also get a free oil change this month. So go check them out. Go mention CHGO when you schedule that service. uh, And it'll be a free oil change for you over there at Ray Auto Group. 
All right, Ray, enjoy the football this weekend. Hope everybody enjoyed this bonus edition of the CHGO Bears podcast presented by Ray Auto Group. We all city like the mayor. 